Greetings everyone and welcome back to Backpack Hero and of course to Habasack Hill. Now in the last episode I uh, posed the question of who you would like me to take out on the next mission. We are of course hunting for sparks because we have yet one more spark I believe to unlock the frozen heart, the final part of the dungeon, the alternate level 3. Now then, quite a few folks said that they would like to see... Well, we kind of had a split between Satchel and Crate. We had one or two people saying Tote, and uh, honestly, it has been quite some time since we took Tote out, but by far and away, the, uh, the consensus was either Crate or Satchel. And I'm going to go with Satchel simply because I know that I favor Crate. I am so biased in Crate's favor that I feel I need to uh, in, to redress the balance a little bit. Uh, let's go Mad Scientist Satchel for today. All right, do you actually... Ha oh, you don't have any sparks. Ooh, well, I do need a spark mission. So let's have a quick, quick look, see? See if we can't get a mission that'll give us a spark for satchel there we go scissors you start with these items you must keep them the whole time we can afford that let's see if there are any others uh nope this is the one okay you were lucky satchel because that was almost a default win for crate there okay well let's grab satchel again once again mad scientist I, I i think of it as a mad scientist scissors you start with these items you must keep them the entire run scissors when combat ends select an item to be I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> ah, here we are. We're going to try it. Let's see. I I really do not do well with runs where I have to sacrifice something. But all right. Um, so I'm always going to want to make sure I've got junk in. The, I'm not going to say trunk. It's a backpack, okay? Uh, so that I can just discard that. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. Uh, let's go to the Bramble. Hello. Right. Let's see how the uh, exiled son of the bird empire does. Uh, we are going to be up against uh, one of the bird empire, interestingly. Now, uh, I'm going to go for the gold and the experience. I'm going to limit the amount of combat that I have to do when there's a good choice other than that. Uh, there's a lot of damage coming my way, unfortunately. All right, let's open up with that. And I'm going to pop the shield twice. And start stacking the flute on you, I think. Go. Because anger isn't going to be triggered by me using the flute, thankfully. Now, there we go. 7, 14, again, we'll just get away with it, but we'll continue to build up our charm over there. 1, 2, and I could use this, but I don't think I will this turn, because I can't do anything through your block anyway. Once again. We're getting up to a nice level of charm now. But these early fights are going to be a little bit slower because I am going to be cautious with Satchel. It might take us a while to get to the point where we can heal and also the fact that I'm going to have to discard my inventory frequently is a problem. Or rather one thing in my inventory. I don't know what I'm even going to lose. I mean, I could get away with just keeping the flute for now and getting rid of the shiv. But uh, it's going to be a pain. What a horrible item this is. Right, let's bring you over onto our side. And now I only need 12 block. There we go. You will switch back next turn. Uh, actually, no. This turn you will stay on our team. So I'm going to bump your charm a little bit more. Drop the shield. Uh, you will always go for me if I recall correctly. I don't think you'll ever go for your allies. Oh, never mind. You got taken out. Perfect. Now you're going to leave. You know what? I'm not going to stab you in the back. I, I've i decided that that is not the way we're going to be today. Ah, damn it. Okay. Goodbye, Shiv. That sucks. Right. Now we want to try and pop some bits and bobs in. It is always useful to go for a second... Uh, 
backpack as quickly as you can with Satchel. And so I feel... That wouldn't be it. That will be a good point. This will give us two separate pockets over here. Oh, and a second level up straight away. All right. I have another pocket over there. Sure. All right, we've lost our feather shiv, which does suck. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we could grab a lucky star that I could throw away. This could be thrown away. We've got talon boots for each pocket that has a space above this, plus three block. Hmm. We can definitely make that work for us. So that'll give us two extra pockets. That's eight passive block, which is actually kind of amazing. All right, another fight straight away. Well, that's what we've got these junky items for. Right, want to get rid of the bee as quickly as we can. Uh, there is a decent amount of damage coming our way, but let's go ahead and pop that down. Let's activate my shield. Mm. We could... And probably... Yeah, we'll do it twice. And uh, use the shiv once. It's going to increase your rage. It's actually not a bad move, because I'm going to be able to pull you onto my side so quickly. I think this is uh, sincerely uh, uh, the right way to do this one. I could throw this and pull you over right now and not have to deal with your... Uh, your honey there, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, actually, I can just use the, the flute the second time since I don't need the actual block. I should have realized that. I'm so used to items like the flute being a one-time use only. Uh, I am going to want to top that up just a little bit more. Let's make sure I've got enough block. Start building up charm on you as well. It's quite nice that you can direct your attacks towards your uh, your ally, it, though that sounds horrible, I know, but uh, it means that you could, if you wanted to, charge up the, uh, the, the charm, or in fact, with something like Rage and such a low damage weapon like this Shiv here, you could just make the bee more capable of inflicting damage on our enemy, which uh, I think may be the thing we want to do. There we go. We only need to get you over on side, and there you are. Now you'll both leave, and you are free to go. I'll just sing you a little... Uh, sorry, sing you. I'll play you a little tune before you go. Uh, right, we want to get rid of this. Please give me more man... Oh, that's going to be amazing. Okay, I take it back. This might actually work. Right. We don't need an extra flute, because I can just keep using that one. A rose would not be a bad thing to grab. Likewise, a structure, possibly. Uh, turn block, plus one to energy for this turn. I mean, it's a pretty solid item, and it gives us more room. Hmm. Uh, we have got the meal over here, so I could dump a lot of energy into something. Or I could go for the climbing glove. For each pocket that has a space to the right, plus one block. Sure, we'll bring you along. There you go, you're adding four block. I can take one more item, and I'm thinking it will be the food. No, actually not. We're gonna grab the uh, grab the brick, because we might end up being able to set up a structure build, or at least have a little bit of structure synergy. Uh, I'll come back to you. Oh, close. We're actually right next to having a level up, so let's go and deal with that first, so we'll have more room for items in the in the coming moments we've already got enough block right now which is great so i can just unload everything into the tune there i can use the ship just because there we go you did an, enough damage yourself to cause you to change sides and then you change straight back again well done you right let's uh, go for you this time still got enough passive block that i don't need to worry about it and that finishes this fight and we'll end it off by, once again, playing you a little ditty so that you have uh, a tune to remember us by, a little earworm of your own. Right, we'll get rid of the mana and level up. Very nice. Now, I could put that there, but that would count as a distinct pocket. Uh, that wouldn't count as a distinct pocket, rather. So I'm going to put it down here instead. There we go. And we're going to shimmy this down along with that. And there we go. We've made a little bit of room over here. Now, let's have a quick look. We've got a key, we've got a classic guitar. We can use this for no energy. It can be used one time each turn, adds three charm to an enemy. And I think that is quite, quite marvelous. Let's pop that one up there. We'll try and put the, 
the uh, instruments in different pockets for Kim. Uh, Leaf Katar. Ooh, this is a unique item. On you, steals three damage. Items this is played on are refreshed and can be used again this turn. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a rare, so if nothing else, I could just sell it. Uh, but I suppose I could play it on this. If I want to use it to do the damage, move it over onto the classic guitar, and then the classic guitar will trigger again. That's actually not bad. Now, Knight's Armor. Adjacent to diagonal shields and armor get plus two. I wouldn't be able to fit it in here. Adds five block, adds six block. This adds seven I can use, but this would just give me passive. Hmm. And plus two block, which means that would get plus two block if I were to do something like this. Yeah. I think that makes more sense for me. L losing the buckler is a little bit of a worry wor worry for me. Because we are we no longer have a means of activating an extra block, but we are passively getting 16... Uh, sorry, we're passively getting 20 block a turn. If I can turn this into a structure build, that might even get better. At least uh, the, the best version of structure build, in my opinion, which is structures with haste. It, it, it is quite, uh, quite common to get additional uh, components. Uh, so yeah, haste at the anvils for, for um, structures. Uh, deals 9 damage, 3 weak. Pretty solid item, honestly. We'll bring this along as well. Alright, let's have a look. Sure, okay. <coughs> a waft of smoke passes by your nose. What is that? You smell a lot of strange things in the swamp, but ritual smoke of the turtles has an unmistakable odor. Smells sweet, like chocolate. Smells like they need to wash their shell, too. Our magic is a gamble, she says to you. Will you let fate guide? I shall. Fortune favors you, and a legendary item appears at the base of her staff. The key, she says. Ooh. Nowhere to put it, though. That's unfortunate. Wait. Maybe. Um... I have to sacrifice some other things for it, though. But this automatically activates every turn for free, and then it's disabled. Best thing to use it for is something that costs a lot, but you can only use once in a turn. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice... I guess the thorns are my sacrifice, then. Losing the dice sucks, but... Yeah, I want to keep this for, for sale, but uh, this is amazing. We might yet make it a much, much more powerful. That's a very nice thing to get early on. But it does cause a bit of problems. If nothing else, I can sell it later if I really want to get rid of it, but I think we'll keep for now. Uh, we've got an anvil. We've got some experience. I almost always go for the experience roll. But let's check out the shop. What have you got for us? You've got a goat doll. Um, projectile for each pocket, three damage. Each turn deals one damage to all enemies. Okay. Token of energy. When an adjacent or diagonal item is present, item is disabled. Each turn adds one energy. I mean, that would be amazing for a tiny little pot. Well, no, it's still a diagonal item. might count. Um, the heavy blade. Not bad. Now, getting a second classic guitar isn't a terrible move for me simply because I can use it for free adjacent weapons get plus three damage I mean this might be better than my once a turn shiv honestly we're gonna sell the guitar is it needed for anything? View research? No. Not really. Okay, then I'm going to say goodbye to you. I'm going to... Grab... 
the classic guitar in its place. We will come back for the goat doll once we've got the cash for it. I think that makes sense. All right, let's have a quick look. Do you have rage to a melee weapon, energy to clothing, conductive to armor, or two spikes to a shield? Uh, I mean, rage is always, always useful. Uh, none of these class as weapons, by the way. They are all instruments. So there's nothing really here that's that useful for me right now. Energy to clothing, that might be okay. But this build is actually kind of a passive build in a way. So there'd be limited utility there. Now the choice between gold, health, and a fight, uh, it has to be the fight. Basically, I always go for what will give me experience. If, if my options were one branch that had a guaranteed experience, which would be five experience and two fights, I'd go with the two fights. I will always favor that right okay let's get you brought across uh got a bit of damage coming our way but nothing too terrible and let's just dump all of my energy into you i could bump you up a little bit there we go very nice and now you can help me out right, we should automatically hit you there we go yep let's bring you back across and let's get you on our side as well. There we go. Top you up a bit. Top you up a bit. I'm just going to let everyone else attack. There we go. That spike is actually quite useful. I'm not going to lie. I do like it. All right, let's see if I can't bring you on side. Yes, I can. You know what, then? No one gets stabbed. You can all leave. Leave in peace with earworms infesting your brain. Uh, right. I, as much as I like this... Uh, no, actually, I think the, the, the basic shiv is the one to leave. Because this act does do enough damage that it causes enemies to switch sides on their turn. Which is quite useful. All right, we've got the Lunar Blade over here. You've been at my side all along. And the transform becomes this. Deal 16 damage for 3 mana. Uh, the item between... Uh, the item between the wings is used. Would this be something we could do with that? It would take up the entire spot, which means we can't right now but I would need a little of a little bit of a level up but if we switched it over to its transformed version would we be able to run that like every turn do 16 damage that would be quite 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 broken beautifully so I would have to sacrifice my instruments in order to carry it though which is the problem um, no, I don't think we can do it. Sad, but it is what it is. I just lack the space. So we'll finish choosing there. I've got, I've got this, which is all I need right now. We came here for the experience more than anything else. Right, what have you got to sell? You've got a Banshee Buckler for each diagonal empty space, plus two block. We have got the Flame Gem. Adjacent weapons get plus two burn. We have got a hat, which would be very nice. We've also got a Warhammer, a legendary Warhammer. On kill, hammers in another pocket are refreshed and can be used again this turn. Also, I need to sneeze. Uh, hopefully, I can remember to cut that out. Right, okay, so... Uh I mean, the three week actually takes that up. That makes that a better better option for me. The leather cap wouldn't be bad. Is this something I could sell here, though? I don't think so. All right, on to the next fight, and we'll get a level up here. Okay, who are we going for? Well, it has to be you, actually, so I don't even know why I'm asking that question. There we go. And we'll top up the charm just so that you don't switch sides ever again. Right, now you're gonna 
Oh, you have to attack them because of the defender quirk. Right. Fair enough. Or did I just wallop you with... I may have actually just walloped you. I'm sorry, I may have had you auto-selected when I ended my turn. I am such a scoundrel. No, you, you did have to... I probably did both, actually. You probably got attacked and I walloped you from behind. I am so sorry. Right, there we go. And we end the fight. Right, what are we losing? We're losing that. Right, level up time. Now, if I desperately want armor over here, then I'm going to have to make this pocket larger. That being said, I could put armor over on this side. Hmm. I think I do want the central pocket to be a bit bigger, though. So let's go ahead with that. Uh... Actually, this would be a better fit for me to place other blocks around here and have them be separate pockets. So, we'll use this one for now. Done and done. Right, you're shimmying down. That would give me a little bit more room. Right, we have got my first wand. We're bringing this along so that I can sacrifice it. Uh, but we've got a trumpet. For each adjacent accessory, plus two to charm. On use, adds eight to charm to enemy. Wait, what? Oh, you're basic. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you are an accessory. You are not. You are an... You're a fragment. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, would I want this down here instead? Auto charm. It's quite a powerful charm, too. I can use it... It's actually just a better flute. Realistically, that's 12 charm. So it is a better flute, yeah. In that case, uh, we can shimmy some things about a bit. Because I'm going to take the climbing glove over here. Pomp. There we are, another four block. And I can take one more item. I would love to have... <laughs> could I do that? <laughs> I probably could, actually. Um, I would love to have uh, the healing staff here, but I don't think we can really make that work for us. Uh, let's grab this, just for now. Right, there we go. Now, got an enemy over yonder. Hello, you. Okay, we've easily got enough uh, protection here. Not going to have to worry. Let's just stack up a bit of charm. And then just start walloping you, serenading you. We are pure, raw, unadulterated charisma right now. No one can stand before the bard. Uh, harp. Each turn adds two charm to all enemies. Very, very nice. Uh, we are going to need something to sacrifice, though. Pop you in there. We've got our second brick. There go. I could put you there. Sacrifice this and get the harp. There we go. All right, not too bad. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to do that. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Deals 10 damage, hurts. Deals 2 damage to self. Minus 2 damage this turn. Plus 1 damage to self this turn. Yeah, this is just not good. But I do need it for the Berserker's Ring. Or the Hatchet. There is no good place for me to put it, though. So I'm just straight up going to say no to that. I wouldn't mind having that over here, for, ha for example, just so that I could have an extra accessory next to the trumpet. Oh, does it not? Oh, it has to be adjacent. Wow. That is a little bit less useful then. Uh, is there anywhere I could... Actually, I could technically put them over here because they are as a consequence they can't fall through that block so that still works for me there we go that's even got more power now i think this is about as good as we can make it and just because i like having as i said instruments in different pockets having these up here is nice because 
it doesn't matter. They don't care about being in a certain position, but the boots do. And obviously, this pocket is the only one that's big enough to have all of this this stuff in there. Um, the only thing that would have been a little bit better if I could have finangled it would be if I had the boots maybe on this side instead. As then I could maybe work it so that the armor was next to one of the gloves. Uh, but it's, uh, it's not something that we're going to be able to do. All right. Time for us to go ahead and start another fight. Ideally. Ooh, we've got an elite battle there. Uh, we do not have enough room in here for anything. But, so let's just jump in straight into the elite battle. All right, okay. And the harp is already doing its thing. Absolutely marvellous. Right, this is not going to take us long. In fact, like one toot on the trumpet will be all we need. There we go. You're already up to 30 charm. It's kind of bonkers. There we go. And we shall sway the minds of the masses with our epic trumpet solo. Right, what are we losing? We are, of course, losing the mana. Thank goodness we keep getting mana. Luck ring, really? You're going to make me say goodbye to a luck ring? You scallywag. Still, we'll actually get the use out of it. These are giving me passive block, and if I get the right anvil, it is purely RNG-based now. If I get an anvil that allows me to add haste to a structure, this becomes scaling defense. Which is so much better than just having a cap. That being said, this only adds three charm to an enemy. It's it's cheap, but the harp is a better version of it. Although it only adds two, the harp does it to all enemies. I can only use this once a turn, so it kind of makes sense for me to say goodbye to that in favor of the hat, I think. Wow, that blew on my ears. Fully armored, carry a hat. Armor, boots, and two gloves. Okay, uh, have I not done that before? In all the times I've played this game, I've not done that? That seems wild. <laughs> We've now got scaling spikes as well, which is actually very, very nice. All right, we had to say goodbye to our classic guitar. I'm a little bit sad about that, but now uh, I have to make sacrifices. Oh, it is my gift and my obligation. Add three damage and heavy to a weapon. Add four damage to a weapon if it is adjacent or diagonal to armor or a shield, it stays disabled. Add three damage to a weapon. <coughs> it must be touching the backpack's edge. Mm. Or add three block to a shield. It cannot be touching the backpack's edge. Uh, I mean, I could. I could make that even more powerful if I wanted to. Because heavy isn't going to affect this negatively because of that little lip there. It can't fall down. So that works for me. Likewise, I could just reorder it anyway to be uh, upright. And it would still be heavy. Oh, I could have gone for the hats to touch a backpack's edge if I'd really wanted to there. Either way, I think that's fine. <clears throat> right, let's go ahead and see what we can do in terms of selling some things. Uh... This would be grand, and it is an accessory. That would give me burn on this weapon. That would be really nice. Not gonna lie. Because uh, this ring, the Ring of Rage, I'm not using... I do need it for research, though, to get the Ring of Doom. Adjacent to diagonal weapons get plus two damage of this combat for one mana. But the Flame Gem in place of the Ring of Rage would be a better option for me. So we may well come back for that. However, first I'm going to go and check with you. You did have the Goat Doll. It is an accessory. Each pocket plus three damage and each turn deals that damage. So we've got one, two, three, four. That's a solid amount of damage, actually. So these two would be quite capable. Does this count as a weapon? It doesn't count as a weapon, no. 
That's fine, though. I could perhaps sacrifice the scaling thorns. I mean, ultimately, I could get rid of the luck. Uh, for now, I don't need to make that choice. This still gives us everything we want. Look that up a little bit. Is there anything else I would like to do here? I don't think so. We've actually got... Oh, actually, let me just double check. Yeah, that's 13 damage. That's a, that is quite beautiful. At this point, I couldn't really afford anything here anyway. I would have been able to get to the 30 rage on a melee weapon, but I would need a lot more to make that really work. And this has already been upgraded now, so I can't have that. I would love to find someone who can upgrade my instruments, but that, in my experience, takes quite a lot of doing. It is not common. Is there anything else I could sell, then, that would get me the 20 I need for the flame gem? Because I really would like that. I would need something rare. No, we can't can't have that. That's a bit of a shame because, you know, scaling fire is wonderful, but uh, it isn't to be. Unless we've got a ray over here. What do we have? Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. We're good then. Let's leave. I guess I could have done with an uncommon because that would have gone me six and then I could have sold a common as well. But that's a lot of my backpack space dedicated to just getting enough money to get a single gem that we really didn't uh, need. Now, I need you to be done with this fight very fast because that poison is going to really tank. All right, let's uh, start going. Thankfully, we are we have done a decent chunk of damage already. Thanks to both of these already triggering. And I'm not going to have to worry about your damage output because we, we will have scaling weakness. I'm going to lose a couple of uh, ticks of health here. Does suck, but it is what it is. Right, there we go. Ah, uh, Satchel never change. You're in here, turning the hearts and minds of not just just the uh, the common or garden troopers, but their generals as well, and in fact, their their leaders. It is marvellous. All right, goodbye, luck ring. Hopefully that still triggers and gives... Oh, well, actually, it wouldn't have given us luck here anyway. Minus two to mana cost of adjacent and diagonal ones. Gosh darn it. Now that would be amazing for the healing wand. I will bring this along and I'll sacrifice one of the roses for it, I, I suppose. Uh, finish there. Right. I've got... I, I can't send anything back. I kind of need everything. Oh, that being said, maybe we will find something I want. Let's go and have a look. What do we have? We've got a big fin. It is lucky. Oh, right. Our luck got carried over to that, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing here, thankfully. Uh, heals 10 HP. Adds 5 rage to self, actually. But it's a huge item. Uh, for not very much value for me, really. Um, no. Right, let's go and send this Rage Ring back. It's the only thing that I was holding on to that I need to send back. There we go. Actually, was there anything else? Don't believe there is. Oh. Well, oh, okay. Well, we're probably keeping those until the uh, very end anyway, so that's not too much of a problem. All right, thank you very much, Parcel. Safe travels back to have Hill, mate. I would like some extra health, please, and thank you. Because that brings us up to the 40 that we would have had anyway. It's one of those rare times. If you're only missing 5 health, go for the max health. Because it'll increase your max health, and it'll give you the 5 basic health that you needed anyway. Don't select heal over max health in that scenario. And even if it's only just a little bit more than 5, I would still say that the max health is the better choice there. All right, Enchanted Swap. Here we go. We are getting a massive amount of materials over there. Haversack Hill is going to enjoy a uh, period of uh, expansion very, very soon. Right, I need to go grab that experience before it runs out. Hmm. Actually, a little bit concerned about this fight. Let's get you on side. And you on side as well. 
Okay, never mind. I take it back. I'm not worried at all. You'll give me spikes. This is going to be grand. Actually, you're not going to give me spikes. Here you go. Have a little, little bit more trumpet solo. Enjoy. It's not quite as good as a saxophone solo, but you'll just have to live with it until I can get one. Uh, gonna have to say goodbye to my scaling thorns. However, level ups. Uh, right. We are starting to get to the point now where I don't have as much room to do things as I would otherwise like. Um, is there a version of this that I can do where I don't lose that pocket as well? No, I don't think there is. Alright, well in that case I'm going to make a new pocket over on this side. That will upgrade our block. Right, I want you to come along with me. Right, what have we got? we got the Frozen Hammer. An absolute ridiculous weapon there. Uh, I can pop that over there at this point. How much is that? Oh, no, it doesn't. I do still need it over here. Actually, it would be better there. It'll give me the, the most block for being there. Uh, this will give me a little bit more block, but this is bonkers. Also, <laughs> I've got my scaling thorns back. Hooray! Uh, keeping the scaling thorns. Now, the frozen legendary hammer on use deals two damage and adds three freeze to a target. Will receive X additional damage when attacked, because they become frigid and uh, the impact shatters. Now, is there a way that I can have both of this? Can I have my cake and eat it? No, I can't. If I really wanted that, I was going to have to have set up differently. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. It is what it is. Uh, I could bring along the plant, add one energy and luck. I wouldn't mind the luck. Sure, we'll use that straight away. Now. Yeah, there is no way that I get both of these. And I only really care for this one. So we're going that way. Oh, man, two magic users. You guys suck. All right, let's quickly convert you. You shall join Team Sexy Awesome. And then I will just add a little bit of extra damn, uh, charm over there. We'll easily be f uh, fine through the, uh, the damage coming our way. Now, your Hex, I don't believe, actually does anything to an enemy. So there's not really much reason to have... Uh, <laughs> if, the, if the unit's only attack is Hexing... Well, I guess there is still a, a case to be made in that if they're on your team, they're not applying the hex to you either. But it doesn't really do anything to the enemies. So uh, if if, the, if you need damage, go for someone else. Uh, right, say goodbye to this. There we go. I'm, I'm so worried that eventually I'm going to click on the wrong thing and I'm going to lose something important. Uh, you can come live down here now. Uh, as for... Can we use one time each turn? Sure, we'll pop that up there. We'll have a little bit of extra scaling on the Rose of Thorns. That being said, we can take the Smoke Dagger. can be used one time each turn. Deals 4-4. Four, four. Hmm. Yes, let's take that. It's a rare item. Sure. Does this work on rings as well? No, only on wands. That's a shame. If it worked on rings, maybe, maybe we would have gone for it, but... Alas, no. All right, that's good enough for me. Thank you. Let's go grab our prize. We're not getting to that anymore. Let's see what the shop has to offer us. You have got a pacifist ring. I would have to sacrifice the club. And the dagger. But. One energy is actually quite nice. Uh, that being said, for each feather shiv in another pocket, I mean, you want lots of feather shivs. The, the, the most broken build for Satchel that I've seen involves having Satchel have a, the broken shiv and the relic that allows you to duplicate one item, one common item, at the end of every comma. You just slowly fill your backpack with these shivs. Uh, we've also got uh, Dad's Ring. For each weapon in this pocket, minus three block. For each armor in this pocket, plus three block. On use, adds one block. It's a magic ring accessory. Hmm. I mean, I could put it over there. But, 
I mean, other than selling it, it's not really that useful to me. Um, I don't think uh, we're going to be buying anything from this shop, unfortunately. Is this a locked chest? It is. So we're going to need a key for that one. Let's check out what the smith has to offer us. Two burn to a weapon. Nice. Two blocked armor. Also, yes. All right. Everything is now about getting 64 gold. We only need 50 gold to get this. Of course, you know, I could add rage to a melee weapon if, uh, you know, I wanted to as well for that same sort of money. Uh, but... I wonder if one rage on this would actually trigger twice because on use it deals four damage. Hmm. Now, I think we've already seen that that doesn't work, but a gem next to it does. But we we need that uh, that haste. That's what this build is for. Are right, we going to be up against a frog mage? Oh. Add a forge slot to an item. Hmm. Technically, you could then add an extra forge slot to the structure and get even more haste. But considering how stupidly expensive they are. Uh, but maybe on here for the burn. Eventually it would be useful. Sure. Thank you very much. The old ways are the best ways, apparently, when it comes to smiths. Uh, right, let's go and fight you. See if we... What the heck are you? A trapped spirit? 20 experience for this, though. Some frog spirits meld into the trees. Okay. I am full of fear, but all right. Let's do a little bit more damage and start stacking all of this up. Okay, that's not terrible. Oh, well, I guess we'd also have to get rid of the doll, too, thinking about it. Yeah, if I'd gone for the pacifist ring. So just as well, we didn't. But what is this hex going to do? Oh, that's a bloody huge one, too. When your turn ends, minus one to the energy cost. Unused, destroyed. I've more or less only got one place I can put it, which is... If I put it here, I lose the... Rose. If I put it here, I lose my armor. If I put it here, I lose the scissors. Ooh, I lose the scissors for next turn. And I lose the rose. But because there's some tiles still unobstructed here, these still were... Oh... It automatically got rid of it. Damn it, I wanted that one, though. This is one of the one times that I wanted to keep it. Oh, well. Gonna have to say goodbye to my my ultra-scaling uh, thorns there. Uh, we've got the ambidextrous glove. For each column to the left, and I can turn it around, we'll get a bunch of uh, block. Is that a uncommon? Yes, it is. Do I have a rare at all? No. Uncommon it is, then. I guess I could use this and re-roll. Uh, well... No, I've already got a one tile uncommon. That's good enough for me. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get better than that. All right, let's go to the shop. Now, first and foremost, saying goodbye to this ray for 10. Saying goodbye to this uncommon for 6. It is not going to get us everything we wanted, sadly. Ah. <sighs> I'd have to sell the legendary. Wait, I could sell the relic. Oh, if only I thought about that. Then I could have sold the goat doll. Oop. Selling this still wouldn't give me enough. And I would then lose the ability to perhaps at some point get a, a wand, a healing wand in there. It does pain me. But we're not getting too haste. We're getting one, though, and that's enough. Because there's every possibility that I will still get another opportunity to add haste. Depending on how long this run is, of course. But let's add haste to a structure, and we'll pop her in the middle there. There you go. So each turn now, I'm going to add some haste to myself. Which just means that all of my block is going to be increased by one. Every Everything that gives me block. And I've got a lot of things that do give block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. So I'm going to get eight extra block a turn. That's definitely nothing to sniff at. But uh, I, I am a little bit sad that we couldn't get that uh, to even higher heights. Oh, well. All right. You do help. Thank you very much. 
And uh, with that, let's head on down to the next floor. Now then. Please tell me you got haste. Regen to a... Ah! Oh, I got so excited. All right. All right. Uh, well, let's grab this gold. Let's find out what you are. You are some mushrooms. I will come back to you, actually. We're going to go and get a couple of fights first. You're more of a concern than pretty much anyone else here. So let's start building up the charm. There we go. You should now stay on side. We'll take a little bit of health damage, but nothing too terrifying. Certainly nothing I think is going to be a problem for us in the long run. But this is why we need that healing wand, frankly. There we go. And we'll do a little bit of a goodbye serenade. Alright, what are we losing? It has to be one of the thorns. There we go. And we've got mana back that I can then get rid of. Perfect. Got some more harps. We've got a feather shiv. We've got a battle ring. Uh, we've also got a bow blade. Uh, I guess I'll take the feather shiv. I could bring the harp along. I have a double harp, I, I guess. It isn't an awful idea for now. In fact, with the three of them, then every turn I add six charm onto every enemy. But no, I, I think we'll uh, just have two. We'll just have two for now. I think I need, more than that, and it's, uh, it's a bit silly. Uh, there we go. And that, since that's each pocket, I can have the harp up the right. Look, okay, put in a harp on its side. It hurts my Welsh soul. Harp should be treated with the utmost respect. All right, there we go. Got a little bit of healing going. And on to the next fight. I will eventually come back. Oh, God. Another, again. Scoundrels. All right, let's start stacking up. Get a hex. It's just going to be unused automatically, but it's okay. And you can have a little bit more of a trumpet solo. There you go. Get rid of the mana. Thank you very much. Now, level up wise. I could put that there. I could expand that pocket. There is no easy place for me to put anything here that doesn't lose me a pocket. So, with that, we will pop this down here instead. There you go. Right, we got a wand, but it's uh, just an electric wand that does damage. Not quite what we were looking for. Could I have another climbing glove? Sure, a little bit of extra block wouldn't hurt. Um, pop you down there. I think we might say goodbye to this harp in order to get the electric wand. They are activating now. I could pick this up, move the feather ship. Oh, okay. Shh. No. no. There we go. We'll have ultra block. I know, there's a lot of people that their brains are melting at this decision. However, my heart is light, fluffy, and full of harp music right now. The harps rejoice. Uh, we could bring another classic guitar back into the ensemble. Uh, can be used one time each turn. On use, adjacent books are used. On take damage, destroyed. No, thank you. I could pick that up for six, but I don't really need to. And there's lots of opportunities for us to get more stuff. Let's go and say hello to the Yellow Battle. Wanna get rid of you? Go wow! You're already... Oh, wait. Will... Will King... When they switch sides, is King going to drop their ads on my team? Because I hope they do. 
and get a little bit more going on there. Wallop you with this, and again. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. We are ultra charismatic. So much charisma. And yeah, uh, it looks like Rat King sent its minions over there, but then switched sides. And but currently has less charm. Than Not going to ask questions. It, that was that was an. In, I don't think the game knows what to do in this scenario. <laughs> it's like this is very confusing. I've not been here before. No one prepared me for this. Uh, you'll probably switch teams shortly. I can keep using that. So it does go into the negative. Right, there you go. You finally realized what was going on. You're like, hang on a second. I've been bamboozled. You have. Right, no stabs needed. And they leave without summoning the rest of their ads. Okay, well, that was actually pretty solid. Right, we don't need this many. <laughs> Let's say goodbye to you. All right, get items. What have we got? We've got... Ah, there we go. That's the wand we needed. Perfect. Now we've got healing. I can breathe a sigh of relief. We've also got the uh, ability to poison. Adjacent weapons get plus three this combat. Don't need that. I could have a shield if I really, really wanted to. But I'm not sure I do. Uh, but I will bring all of this, these goblins along so I can destroy some of them later. All right, another fight. Hello. I would like you on my team so that you apply the spikes to me. I'm going to use that for free. And then just get a little dig in there with my feather shift. Oh, okay, I mean, sure. More trumpet solo then. Goodbye. All right, what were you saying goodbye to? Probably the ring that I'm just not going to be using. Uh, oh, really? All of them together? I mean, sure, okay. And, <laughs> we, look, everyone knows that you need four set, uh, two sets of climbing gloves. One for using right now, and one as a spare in case your first set gets damaged in some capacity. It makes perfect sense. I don't know why anyone is giving me weird looks right now. Uh, I'll get rid of that brick in the next battle, I should imagine. Uh, another fight just up ahead. Hello. Right, you're already gone, my lord. All right, let's uh, get you on side, get you on side as well, and then just start serenading you. All right, that was good. Having any weapons that require energy just it seems silly in this build honestly uh end the turn there uh, and as a concert i'm just gonna get rid of that i don't use energy on fighting i use energy for convincing people that i'm right through interpretive dance and music instruments in another pocket get plus three charm yes uh we've also got steel boots weapons in this column get plus damage uh, wouldn't be useful for me. Uh, the little buckler on you, so six block. Do we actually need... Yeah, yeah, we do. For the amethyst buckler. All right. I don't think taking this. When a weapon kills an... I don't use weapons. I think Satchel is probably the only character that you could convincingly do a pacifist run on. All right, what have we got down here? Uh, dodgy. One gold, trade for an item of the same size. Who cares about value, he says. We're talking about size here. Let's trade. Oh, I could trade one of these. Um, items have a magnetic quality, he says. You get so accustomed to their buzzing, sometimes it's hard to let them go. Uh, yeah, I agree, actually, on that one. All right, let's go and say hi. All right, would like A, recharge, and then B, to play you the song of our people. Which I imagine, given that our people are literal birds, our songs are quite beautiful. Also, extremely complex. Two notes simultaneously from the same throat. My lord. 
Uh, right, we'll say goodbye to you. And what do we get? We've actually got a spy uh, fire spirit room. It's been ages since I've turned in any any uh, research material at Haversack Hill. Okay, I love it. Right. Do we want to see if there's anything we can get over here? Once again, let me remind myself what we had. Regeneral ring. Haste on shield. I mean, I guess. Haste on shield. We could. Then I spend one turn to increase my haste every turn. Hmm. Sure. And in fact... Yes. Ultra scaling protection. Still don't have much of a protection against poison, but that is pretty glorious. Don't have a key. Alright, so we didn't end up making our structures turn into haste machines, but still, this is a pretty solid effort, I think. Uh, I could get rid of that structure instead then to have scaling, uh, scaling spikes, and I think that's going to be more useful. What are you? You're locked as well. Is there anything else I want to do over here? I really don't think so. I mean, the curse is... Uh, I, I have had a couple of comments that I am neglecting the power of curses. Uh, from the same person. I will honestly give it a try. I will. But just not this one. This isn't the right run for it. Hello. Right, you're going to be summoning some minions. Uh, that I don't like. I would like to instead apply... Oh. Hey, yeah. Oh, this is this is great. I'll. Do I want to go ultra on the on the haste? No. Only only two. It's good enough. I've got. <laughs> Maybe I do want to go ultra on the haste. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna be immune. I don't even need to to serenade you with my trumpet. I I I am passively serenading right now. I, I'm so good at music that I'm just absent-mindedly blowing your mind with my, with my, uh, just idle ditties. Fantastic. And this is with a harp as well. That's ultra impressive because they're not easy instruments to play. Yeah. Uh, We'll get rid of the very briefly uh, built up scaling on my uh, spikes there. <sighs> Where are you, Satchel? I mean, uh, pocket. So, as you start with these items, you must keep them the whole run three. Uh, the run ends after area three. We'll get another spark for that. How many sparks am I going to need? Uh, we do not need to take this back with us. No, 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 no! Wait, no! Ah! Ah! I would like to say something coming here. I would like to point out that this is all part of the plan to extend the Let's Play. However... <laughs> that hurt. That hurt so much. Oh, the quest rewards are actual things you need to put in your backpack hurt so much. And the fact that I picked up the thing I didn't actually care about. I made room for both things. <laughs> and then didn't grab the other one. And automatically clicked. Ah, uh, brain autopilot, why have you done me a dirty like this? Uh... The worst thing is... Wait, did we... Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you, uh, game. I was going to say, the worst thing is, what if we've lost that spark now? Because I can't do that quest again. <laughs> I've got a different quest. Thank you, Brain Autopilot, for, for not scuppering the run as much as you could have. You still gave me a moment of doubt. For a second, I questioned your grand design, but uh, I accept that I was wrong. I was a fool to think that I knew better than you. My lord. Frozen Heart. The darkest fo frog wizards and the cultists are there. Oh, so still frog wizard. Maybe that's where Pocket is then. 
a den of dark rituals and cold breezes. In the deepest parts of Odaria, majestic ice formations are a sight to behold, but beware, these frost-bitten parts have been the end of many explorers. Beware, Pus, the cold air is not the only threat in those depths. Organize carefully, and you will restore the warmth to these halls. Well, I mean, I'll certainly try. All right, okay. We, I think, have one thing. Yeah, there we go. And that, actually, no, we've got a, one or two things to hand in, if I recall correctly. I do still need to bring an amethyst back. Uh, let's see. Uh, sure, you can have this one. I don't need it. Anything. I, it would be wonderful if things would stack to the top in these cases. Magic ray. Magic ray. Uh, sure. I guess I'll go for that one. The ethereal staff. Legendary. Creates ethereal shivs in each empty space in this column. Adds one mana to connected mana network. Ooh. That. That is very nice, I will confess. Creates ethereal energy in this column. Okay, both of these are actually kind of kind of cool. Uh, anything else? Oh, I should probably should have checked to see if there was a specific need for that ring. As in uh, something that needed that ring and only that ring would do. Uh, but other than that, we look good. All right, I'm not going to invest in Gabins there. Let's see if there's anything over here we want to invest in. Not really. Nothing there either. Could go for this. Magic Archery. You start with these. Okay. A uh, nice little tote run there in the making. And we can now have the explosive arrow. We really need to do a proper archery run. It has been so long. My goodness. Uh, we no longer have the treasure to unlock those, sadly. Though I could probably easily get the treasure. I say easily, but it's probably anything but easy. But let's go and see if I can't get us a, a bit of an investment from the bank. Now, for the this area we need what exactly? We want commercial decorations. Uh, commercial decorations. Residence. Commercial. Agricultural. Commercial. Commercial. Military. Just a decoration. Alright. Well, let's go for a barrel first. Actually, go for a couple. Since there's a few that we can put behind, apparently. Oh no, okay, maybe we can't. Uh, some pots. These are expensive things for a swag now. But that's fine. Uh, crates, maybe? Can we do that? No. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go and have a chit chat with you. Whomp. 142 and a little bit of food. Sell those items, sure. Thank you. The others I'm going to sell at the regular shop. Yeah. Now we need to go and get something red as well. I do, actually. Ah, here's something we need to read. Spirit Fire Tree. In the coldest part of the Great Swamp, a child of the Mother Tree, a mighty red maple continuously burned and felled through the ages. Grandpa tends this sapling, having it sprout and grow like flame through sheer determination, and then to warm those loyal, spirit flame burns itself away to feed the reptiles on warm sap to warm their cold-blooded hearts. That's actually... I love the lore in this game. It's, it, it's so... <sighs> Unfortunately, it's, it, it's quite divorced from the gameplay in most cases. There are some instances where, where having read certain lore makes sense or, or kind of put something... Uh, pieces together, but I do just love the world building that's going on, even though it isn't really tied to the gameplay. Okay, uh, I do not have more for you to read, sadly. Uh, it's great sadness, but let's go and see if I can't do a little bit more research down here. We're going for some items in here. We could grab Build a Bird. Oh, okay. 
Oh, wow. All right. That actually looks quite cool. Uh, another potential satchel one right there. Signpost decoration. Let's not go for the decorations here. I'm just going to quickly look through again, see if there's anything that I only need treasure to unlock. Nope. I think it might be in here. Yeah. Go with you then. The micro build. You cannot earn experience. Wow, that would be a rough run. But also, if anyone could do it, Crate could, because Crate is great. But that is going to be it for us for today. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope that little scare there when I left without picking up the spark didn't uh, give anyone too much of a fright, or at least not as much of a one as I gave myself. But uh, in the next episode, I think we will either jump back to Purse, or, well, actually, yeah, I think it's going to have to be a Purse run. It might just be a regular... Um, standard run or we might go on a mission but if we do pick up a mission it's going to have to be one that can go down to level three because i would like to go and check out the frozen heart but that is going to be it from me for today so until next time and as always from myself purse louis and prada wherever they are in the dungeon do take care everyone <laughs>